And welcome back, Bobcat fans. SKS here with another episode, another week of the Texas State Bobcats football dynasty. Uh, this episode's probably coming midweek. This past weekend was Mother's Day, and if you've kept up with the channel at all, you know that my mom's been really sick, so I've been going back and forth a lot. So I spent the weekend with her, and I recorded this before I went down, but I know that the editing probably didn't take place, so you should be getting this on a Wednesday, Thursday type deal, so apologies for that, but you did get two episodes last week. No shenanigans. All right, this week we've got the University of South Alabama. The Jaguars are coming to town to play us. We've also got some recruiting to take care of, so I'm going to jump straight into that and get that knocked out, and I'll give you all an update when I finish. Teddy Browning, Caleb Evans, and Jeff Willis will be on campus today. All right, we got recruiting taken care of. There's a couple people visiting on campus, I think four or five this week. We scheduled some others. We're losing some of those top candidates that we've been pursuing all season. It seems like some of the bigger teams are coming after them, and obviously they're going to have a better draw. Uh, we got a conference clash. It's going to be our second game in the Sun Belt. Let's take a look at what we're rocking with. We are the better team, but we always play down to teams. Uh, Kirk's rocking with us, so I'll take that. And overall, it looks like their pass defense is very good. That might not bode well for uh, Horn. Here's your weird Texas State fact. If we win today, we'll be 500 as a Division I football team. All right, with all that looked at, let's get to the game. All right, so checking a look at this, we are the better team overall, though our offenses are almost similar. Our def I mean, we're not that far apart. I mean, nothing to really get excited about. Caleb Evans, Anton, Antone, or Antony, Morris, and Jeff Willis are visiting. Interceptions and swatted passes. We did knock out those goals last game, which was surprising. Uh, and two sacks with a linebacker. There's Coach Conquest giving uh, Tom Sutton some motivational skills. He doesn't need it. Tom Sutton's ready to go. He's ready to run. We got the one-back offense. Tom Sutton looking at his assistant coach going, who the hell are you? Why are you even here? I mean, I know you're part of it. Here's our conference standings. We are still in second place. Three-way tie. Kind of close on the conference standings except for Port Idaho down there. They're winless this year. I don't think that was a great addition. We, we picked up them and lost Western. But here come your Texas State Bobcats. They look like they're ready to go. I'm sure I'm pumping in some amazing music. I should like pump in like opera at some point just to mess with you all and see what you all. I wonder if anybody even watches this part. Y'all probably fast forward to the start of the game and the kickoff, but that's okay. I'm going to just say random things because that's what I want to do. This is my channel. This is my video. I can say lots of things. And you just skipped it all. But welcome to the game, South Alabama versus Texas State here at Bobcat Stadium. It's good to see the trees clipping through the other trees there in the background. It's good fun field day. Good day for football, as John Madden would say. So as always, we lost the uh, coin toss. We'll get it. The crowd's chanting Texas State. Fountain's ready to bring it back. Oh, Fountain with a big spin move there. Did you see that? And he'll pick up 31, and here comes Tom Sutton. 150 yards almost last game, one touchdown. Stewart was the player of the game, though, with his four touchdown receptions. So we got Booker out there playing a wide out. Dixon and Stewart and Roberson out there. Booker's going to go in motion. First play of the game. So oh, Sutton got hit awkward there, and he'll pick up nothing. And a big stop by the Jaguars. Second and ten here. Horn will deliver. Robinson will make the catch. He'll get the first down. That's 14 yards. Roberson's what I should say, not Robertson. Ro Roberson and Stewart out there to the right. Cummings goes in motion to the left. And it looks like it's a handoff. Sutton. Sutton's going to get a big hole. Sutton. Oh, Sutton. Oh, oh my God. The step back and he embarrassed him. Look at this. Goes around the edge, big distance, dude coming in. Whoop! Oh, oh my god! 657 land first and then I can't quit smiling after that. That was oh my god, that was amazing there. Something to get knocked down there, but he'll push the line for three more. Second and seven here. Oh god, he Oh! Horn's going to take off. Horn's going to get the first down, and he'll get out of bounds. 
So eight yards on the pickup there. I thought he was sacked behind the line, but he held on to it. Robinson, Stewart, Booker on the end there. Hand off, they're going wide. Sutton will get brought down, no gain though. Oh no. And Sutton's banged up. So we collectively hold our breath here and hope it's nothing serious. And there's a hit, Dixon, and Dixon is down on the goal line. He didn't get in there like Stewart last week. A nice catch, nice throw by Horn there. He had plenty of time. And I think he might have got in there, but no, ooh, bit back a little bit. So Darnell Jones out here. First and goal, and Darnell Jones will push through and pick up the touchdown as we wait for Tom Sutton to emerge from the medical tent. Eight yards, or eight plays, 70 yards on that drive. Sands will put the extra point through, and Texas State goes up early here, but at what cost? We had the miraculous step back by Sutton. I would hate for that to be his only highlight of the game. In his senior year, you hate to see somebody get hurt. 21 yard return there. South Alabama comes out here on offense. Bruised sternum. Tom Sutton has a minor injury and will return to the game later, but would you like to keep playing him now at the risk of further injury? No. We're in the second game of the conference season. I, I cannot risk Sutton getting out long term. Oh, and Edwards will get through and get the sack. BJ Falk goes down. Big man on campus there. All right, now I've seen some comments where people say, oh, you need to have your linebackers play coverage. Here they are, they're playing coverage. Let's see what they do. Oh, nicely done there. And all of a sudden, South Alabama goes into a hurry up offense. That tackle was by Randy Booth back there. Bring him down, Parker. And we will, and it's fourth and three. So maybe if they don't go for it here, we get a big stop. That was Russ Parker. I mean, if we can get a couple of scores and control the game, it won't be a big loss. Uh-oh. Fountain. Seven-yard return. Uh, he tried to reverse field, but no dice. Stuart Dixon and Roberson out there. Why is Tom Sutton out there? Well, unfortunately, I can't change it here, but I'm terrified of what's going to happen. So he'll get no gain. I'll have to check the depth chart now. All right, so I'll show you all this screen. There is no injury report. Like, I guess he's fine now. Did the game not register it? I don't know. I'm still a little weary, but... Second and 10 here. 338. Nice throw, Stewart, the hero from last week. He'll get the first down, fights for 11. Good catch and run there. First and 10. Oh, it's Stewart again. Stewart breaks through. Stewart, he'll roll around, he'll get past two, get 31 yards. Stewart emerging, a Bobcat hero this season. Got the throw off perfectly there. Stewart will catch that. Slip the tackle, roll around one, and finally be brought down by two other Jaguars. I mean, bearing nothing bad happens. I mean, we shouldn't expect anything less from Tom Sutton. Uh, obviously, his injury is not going to be real. They'll throw off one, and I'll just run him out of bounds. I don't want him to get too banged up. Roberson and Dixon to the left, Stewart on the right. Oh, Horn! Horn! We'll get through, and he'll run up 11 yards. Where does this kid come from? Holy crap, he went through the line and everything. Stewart and Dixon out to the left, Roberson to the right. Darnell Jones thought he was going to get the play today. He did get his touchdowns, but Sutton's going to walk in there and pick up a one-yard touchdown run, and Texas State goes up 13 to nothing here early. And Tom Sutton enjoying it. That sternum looks great right now. He bounced off the center, Alley Tally and he'll bounce in there for a score. Sands, extra point is good, and it's 14-0. Bobcats here in the first. Conquest, excited that Sutton's still out there. 
Bobcat faithful cheering it big here, leading 14 nothing. Two minutes to go till the end of the first quarter. I like this little skip hop, Neil. That was nice. Four wideouts here. Oh, and they're gonna run it up the middle. Oh my God, Stanley! Or, or, or he come up and he totally went the wrong way. Put three out to the right. I am blitzing on this play. Oh, we went. Oh, good God, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh my God. We bit so. <laughs> We killed the quarterback, but he throws the forward pass. That was a pass, not a rush. And they get a big gain there. The person that commented that I shouldn't blitz my linebackers all the time. I do it once and we get burnt big. Whoa, what? Why did... Ward there, like, totally would not even tackle the quarterback. He, like, missed him on purpose. All right, Texas State defense setting up here. They audible out. Oh, and Jensen rips him down for the loss. Jensen there taking him on. The senior linebacker wrapped him up. That was fast. And then one of the receivers was banged up a little bit. And he'll drop the pass. That's going to make it fourth and ten. They'll probably settle for a field goal. South Alabama trying to add some points on the board here. And they will do that. Arkansas State beating New Mexico State. That is a conference game, I believe. Arkansas State doing well this year. That's our final game of the regular season. I think there's going to be something on the line for that one. Roberson takes this one. Oh, he tried to roll out, but he'll get 23. Still a nice return. First and 10, 41 seconds left till the second quarter. Sutton will try to squeeze on the outside. He'll get three. And they'll probably let the clock run down. They'll still have to get off one more play, it looks like. Oh, and Booker catches that. Booker! Booker will get through one. He'll get the first down, and that is an excellent play to end the first quarter. Horn hit him on the run there, and it is 14 to 3 as the first quarter comes to an end. Good quarter of football by the Bobcats. Stuart Dixon Robertson out to the left. Play action. And he'll hit Booker again. Booker will push one off and he'll get 19 yards on it. So the tight end Booker showing up again, making the best of his senior season. First and 10 here. Hand off to Sutton, he gets around the edge. He'll roll out of one and he'll finally get down. He'll get five on the play. Second and five. And, and Horn will get rid of that one in a hurry. That's his first incomplete pass of the game. And they're going to try this. Fifty-three yard field go. Sands rips it, and it is just short. How short was it? Oh, that's heartbreaking. Dunn and Perkins appear out there as wideouts for the Jaguars. Come on. Oh, he rolled off that. He'll get nine yards on that. Hurry up offense in full effect here. Oh, good lord. Come on, boys. Tackle him out of bounds, but not after 16 yards. I feel like we're doing the same thing again. We, we catapult out of the starting gate. Oh my God, I don't know what just happened, but Jensen picks up another sack. The quarterback faked the handoff. I guess he thought he didn't have the ball. Oh, it's a broken play and he just kind of give up on it. Trips to the right here for the Jaguars. I knew where he was going. And we still couldn't get to him. He picks up 12, third and three now. Oh my God. 
Oh, he jumped over the All-American Humphrey on that? Whatever. There's the, oh. Flag looked like Pittman. False start. False start. That'll slow it down a little bit. And let's get the right personnel out here so we can cover all these people. Or by the right personnel, I mean, we're just going to let them run right through us because we don't want to stop them anyway. I can't. I can't. I couldn't. Come on, guys. Come on, Jensen. There we go. Must have been a super serious injury for them to do the cutscene during the play selection. Oh, and another mess up. And it looks like Ulysses, Sut Ulysses Sutton will come through there and get the sack. He's from Thomaston, Georgia. Third and goal here. Let's see if Texas State can hold him here. Audible. Tight end goes in motion. Come on, get him. There we go. Big stop there. Hold him to three. That's a big win. I'd like to see Humphrey come through here and just block this. And they'll pick up three more. 14-6 is now the score. South Alabama tacks on a couple of field goals. Fountain will handle this one. And he'll get wrapped up. 20 got off his block there. 24-yard return. Stuart Dixon and Robertson in there. They hand off. Booker will get the... Oh, Booker breaks through again. Booker, 20 more yards. And Horn really finding the seams today. He's also getting a lot more time in the pocket. So it was number 33, Bell, for their team. He got a concussion, so he is out for the game. I'm not sure if that was... I don't think that was the running back. Sutton will pick up a couple there. Gets dragged down by the end. Second and eight here. Oh my God, he hits Roberson. Roberson gets past one. Roberson breaks the second one. Roberson's got some daylight and he'll get drugged out of bounds inside the 10. Nice find by Horn there. Roberson goes downfield, makes the catch and eludes the Jaguars to pick up a big yard gain there. Oh, they're stacking over there on the right side. Oh, God, Sutton, Sutton, why did he stutter? He, he had daylight. Sutton does that sometimes. When he gets ready to go, he just stops. You see it right there. It's just, and maybe that's just some programming in the game. I don't know. Third and goal. Cummings goes in motion. Oh, and Sutton gets smashed. Sands will come out to try a much shorter field goal. And, oh, he almost pulled that one to the left, but he gets it in. And that makes it 17-6. to six. That one scared me a little bit. Sands with the kickoff here. Nice and deep. Will there be a run back? Nope. Goodard's going to keep it. So Texas State dominating on the plays and the yards and the first downs, but still not a big, big lead. Now let's bring our stacked linebackers. We have three linebackers for a reason. Oh, Jensen! Jensen almost picking that one off. Three wideouts, two to the right. Or if that was a screen, he hit our dude in the helmet on the bench. Go three out again. They've slowed down their offense, I know that. And who's that? 27, Russ Parker on the tackle there. Ward comes over to congratulate him, and they'll hold him to a punt. And that's going to leave Texas State with about two minutes left and the ball before halftime. Fountain out there all alone. Fountain's going to take that one. Oh, Fountain, he's knocked back. Only six on the play. Sutton only 43 yards today. That's kind of expected with the injury. We're not really pushing him. So 207 till half. He's at field position. 
Oh, Sutton's going to get around the end. And Sutton will get knocked out of bounds, but he'll pick up big yardage there. He's excited. He turned the corner. First and 10 here. Oh, and he hits. Oh, and Sutton had one man the beat. He'll still get the first down. But what a play. Horn has been on it today. Minute 39 left. Hand off Sutton, he'll get stopped, maybe a couple. Oh, it looked like he was grabbing his knee there. I was worried, but he got up. Second and eight here. Roberson will make the catch around the middle. That's another first down. They're moving the chains. 30 seconds. Oh, and Stewart catches that somehow, and it's going to be first and goal with 26 seconds left. I don't know how he brought that down. Conquest not. He runs him up to the line, not calling a timeout. Cummins goes in motion. That's a handoff, and Sutton's in there. His second touchdown run of the day. The Texas State scores. Sutton celebrates a little in the end zone. Sands will come out. And he'll make it a 24 to six game with 15 seconds till halftime. Crowd throwing their women around. Don't throw your women around. A little squib kick down the middle here, 15 seconds. Oh, oh, what a bounce. Johnson got that one. Now to give him 11 seconds. That takes us to halftime. Coach Conquest fired up. It's 24 to six. Texas State leading the Jaguars of South Alabama. All right, before we start half, the uh, second half, I just wanted to come in here and show you that you can go on the injury report now uh, at halftime. But when you look at Texas State, there's no injuries. Tom Sutton just faked an injury so he could throw South Alabama off task and get us going. Because if you go to South Alabama, their halfback did suffer a concussion and he's out for a game. So their injury stuck. Tom Sutton, nope, didn't happen. Start of the second half here. We kick off. Oh, that one went way awry. And they'll nail it down. Let's see if we can keep that intensity. And that's exactly what Coach Conquest from South Carolina is over there telling the Bobcats. Keep on them. All right, let's try to keep my three linebackers out here so they can have some coverage. Come on, Humphrey. Oh, my God. Get the ball. Who was that? 53, Daniel Ward. Come on, you're a senior. You should be able to strip that from him. I feel like sometimes we get too big of a push and it gives them a reason to run. Oh my god. What, what is going on, Booth? Oh my god, Booth missed the tackle. Luckily, he stepped out of bounds. But 46 yards, their Kevin Goodard is like Tom Sutton. Oh, let's press the coverage. We've got to get through to him. They've come out in a blitz creek here. Oh my god, I was trying to just... Blast him with Jermaine Hughes there. Hold, hold the line. Don't give up easy points here. Get him, Ward. There we go. Ward held him up. Two yards. Makes it third and five. There's bodies everywhere. Third and five. There's, I can't believe they're rushing here. They should take their time. Get him, Jensen. Jensen wraps him up. Fourth and five. No gain. There we go. Jensen really showing up to play today. I'm proud of him. Let's see if they go for this, and they do, and it's going to be 24 to 9. So the defense giving up lots of field goals today, but no touchdowns thus far. Comes to kick off. Looks like Roberson will have this one. He needs a good run back today. He's kind of struggled a little bit. Oh, oh, I thought he had it there. 28 yards though, not bad. First play, offense, Roberson Stewart out there. They canned off. Oh, what are you doing, Horn? Horn holds on to it. I hit the throwaway button and he holds it. That's an 11 yard sack. That's terrible. It's like he faked it. I don't. 
This pushes us back far. Second and 21. Horn will keep that one, and that's a <laughs> more of a loss. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on here. There's a guy in the crowd yelling, are you kidding me? Look at this defense they're running here. Oh, I was almost picked off. I thought I could weed it through there, but I forgot it's Heisman difficulty. They're going to slide over and slap it. All right, O'Connor out the punt. That was a terrible series there. Oh, my God. Green just <laughs> wrapped him up two yards on that. All right, defense. We need you. I'd really like to get the interception on this play, but I'd like to just hold him. Get off your blo- oh my god. And he'll wrap him up. Russ Parker saves the touchdown. Goodard is just a god amongst men today. Oh, he had the touchdown and he dropped it. Try to overload their line here. Get him. Oh, he got away. It looked like Daniel Ward came up and made the tackle. He got away from Paul Franklin there. Third and goal. Man, can we hold him to a fourth field goal today? Get him, Sanders. Get him. Bring him down, Jensen. Oh, he fumbled it. Jensen. Oh, and Humphrey, the All-American, picks it up. What a turnover. Jensen, you hero, you stud. Rips it out of his hand before he hit the ground. And Humphrey, Steve Humphrey, runs up and picks it up. Nice recovery. No points given up. Conquest ecstatic about the effort out there. Stop. Wait a minute. They're going to challenge it. Oh, that's out. There's no way he's down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Yes! I'm actually in shock that we won that. I thought they were going to pull one there. All right, 441 left here in the third. First down. Sutton, he'll lose a yard there. Jaguars is really stepping up defensively. They know they gotta they have us pinned back. They gotta keep us down. Stuart Roberson over there to the right. Cummings goes in motion. Come on. Oh my god. Pick up your blocks. They are shutting down Sutton right now. That makes it third and eleven. Third and eleven here. Oh, Horn's going to run for it. They totally didn't come up and get him, and Horn will get the first down 15 yards. I really, really was waiting for B to break, but he just stood there, and their dude, the dude stayed on him. And Horn could outrun the, the lineman. Nice play there. Good decision. I honestly don't think he gets that play away against some other teams, but we'll take it here. Oh, he gets a yard. Sutton having a rough day, let me tell you. But he's got 69 yards. Nice. Stewart and Roberson out to the right, or the left. Cummings goes in motion. You all know the play when that happens. And Sutton will pick up six, and that makes it a manageable third and two. Clock runs, 243. Stewart, Dixon, Roberson out to the right. We are only one for four on third downs today. Get that block. Oh my god, one for five. How in the That's a gain of one on the play. Fourth down. Y'all saw what I saw. Connor out the punt. Booms this one. Let's see if Green can get out there. Ward will get him. Sutton only have a hit for Sidis. Sidus, Stidus, but he will return, so nothing serious. It'll probably ask us. God, he got hit by so many people, but he still picks up 10. Alright, boys, we need some good defense again. 
Oh, come on. DJ Falk tearing us up today. His running back really tearing us up. We obviously hurt the wrong running back at the start of the game. Get him, Edwards. Come on, pull him down. He's just bouncing off our guys. He must be senior. I knew he was going that way. Come on. I don't understand my players sometimes. I get ready to like tackle, and it doesn't matter if I hit the tackle button or the hit stick button. It it just they turn me out of the way. I knew that was coming. Come on, Stanley. And they got us pinned back again. They're trying to really bring this game close. Come on, boys. You need to buckle down. False start on them. Yep. False start. Offense. I don't want to chance this, so we're going to sub in Jones again. Come on, Jensen. Good tackle. You got five, but still. Get him! There we go. Big hits there. A little bit of everybody got him. He brings the third down again. Get him! Bring him down! Yes! Another stop. Another third down stop. All right, we're going to the final quarter. Texas State leading 24 to nine. Tom Sutton is benched right now. So Darnell Jones will come in. We don't want to injure him. He will not get 100 yards, but this game is not over just yet. No wonder he's hurt. So they we're gonna go for the field goal, but now that it's switched over to the fourth quarter, they decided to go for it. Oh, get that, Parker. Oh, Russ Parker. We, we turned him over on downs, but I should, wish we had that. Oh, he's so big. <laughs> he hit the backside of his hand. Look at this. Parker. Oh, my forearm. No. Why's he got his feet planted like he's going out of bounds? So once again, Sutton's out there. And there's no injury on him. I don't know what's going on. It's not like I'm not restarting the game. I'm not doing anything. If you know what's going on, leave a comment because I don't have a clue. The man is a machine. Booker goes in motion. The handoff to Sutton and Sutton wrapped up again. They have completely shut him down in the second half. Empty backfield, second and 10. Oh, Dixon went up for it, but he couldn't come down with it. That was that was a little high, but he should have had it. Games like this, we should be putting teams away, but we don't. Oh my God, Stewart with the catch there. Horn hit that, he was under severe pressure. Gets that away, puts it in there perfectly. Oh my God, he got tore apart. Had to give him some breathing space. So it's either Tom Sutton's robot, or he really doesn't like Darnell Jones and doesn't want Jones to get into the game. Uh oh, good blocks there. Sutton will turn up field and he'll get 11. That puts him up to 86 for the game. Second and 10 here. Hand off. Sutton will get four, it looks like. Oh, we couldn't get a playoff. That's gonna be a penalty on us. Delay of game, offense. Pro tip, don't put it on two clock and then have a guy in motion. Oh, that's intercepted. Oh, it should have been. So 6-10 left, looks like we're gonna turn it over. Well, not turn it over, but give it to him. Connor punts that one. I didn't see him wave his hands. I was ready to obliterate him. He's going to be ready for next week's game. 
24-9, six minutes to go. Jensen with another big tackle there, holds him to five. Clock running. I feel like we just gotta put a spy on him the whole game. Come on, boys. 19 yards. He's up to 124. You know, they called that screen. Jensen was there, though. No game. They called it before they even ran the play. I heard one of my defenders yell it. Go in motion. They're doing all sorts of changes here. They get four on that. They're, they're running back. He's doing so much work today. I couldn't make that jump. Booth comes up and makes a tackle, and that's going to make it fourth down, but they're probably going to go for it here. God, Booth's been such a good player. Put three wide outs. Probably going to be a run. Oh, my God. Don't let him catch that. Oh, my God. That was embarrassing. Running guys out here. Clocks stopped. Oh, my God. Second and inches. That keeps the clock running without the first down. Get him. And we'll hold him again. Third and inches again. Humphrey come up there on that tackle. I think they're just going to try to run it again. They're running back. Oh, that's a different one. We got the wrong personnel on the field to stop this train. Oh, we dropped it. And our guys jumped for it like super late. Franklin and Fields there. Actually, cover. We got some people come up and get the runners. Uh, we were supposed to have people come up and get the runners, and they get a touchdown finally. Not happy about this. 344, their quarterback sneaks in there. Makes it a nine-point game. Could make it an eight in a one-possession game. Called the wrong defense on that last one. Let's see if we can stop them here to keep the game out of reach. Oh, nice coverage. The Jaguars all sad. How come we don't have a Bobcat? All right, so I know they're going to go for the onsides here, so let's make sure we get this. Kennery's going to get it. And we just need to waste some time. The problem is, is we're not even moving the ball. Never mind, we got it up there, six yards. I said we got to get a couple of first downs in this game. Second and four, about three minutes to go. Sutton will get third and inches there. That puts him at 100 yards. Clock still running, close to two minutes. Sutton will get through, get the first down, and the Jaguar is really begging for mercy now. Go under two minutes. Oh, and that's a big Oh, <laughs> Sutton had so much daylight, and he couldn't. I tried so hard to recover. Oh, what a run. He got through. He had so much open with the cut. He just stumbles, and he couldn't save himself. It would have been a touchdown. So South Alabama used their second time out there. They've got one left. Minute 48 left. Cummings goes in motion. Something's still going. He wants that third touchdown. He'll get eight yards, and there's the last time out by South Alabama. And that should about do it, I believe. And Sutton, he gets the first down, and that should do it. Do we go for sportsmanship or no sportsmanship? Y'all know that 40 overall fullback? We're going to let him run it here. And get him a touchdown, Cordez Brown. USA, USA. Yeah. Good job, Brown. 
just so they don't think about anything, we're going to go for two here and lock them out. Okay, we're going to throw it clear over his head, and nothing is going to happen. That should end the game, and it does. The time expires, and that's your final score. Texas State, Sutton, 145 yards, two touchdowns. The rest of the team, 242, two touchdowns. Booth out there. Here comes Conquest out there to congratulate. Tom Sutton is your player of the game. 135 yards, 31 carries, hurt twice. The dude kept going. That's your final score here. The Bobcats double up. The Jaguars of South Alabama, 30 to 15. All right, let's take a look at the team stats. Justin Horn, quarterback, 163.9 rating, 12 for 19 today, 63%, 228 yards, no touchdowns, but no interceptions as well. Rushing, Tom Sutton, bulk of the load, 31 attempts, 135 yards, two touchdowns. His longest was 25. He would have had a longer one, but he tripped up on that. Horn had five rushes for 22 yards. Brown and Jones in there for a yard apiece, but they both pick up touchdowns on those runs. Stewart, four receptions, 72 yards. Booker, three for 50. Roberson, three for 73. So we got some re receivers out there who can really catch. We only lose Booker at the end of the year. We're really going to have to find a tight end to replace him. I don't know if we are or not, though. Marcus Jensen, heck of a play today. The senior linebacker showing up. Ten solo tackles. And I'm pretty sure that he had that strip forced the fumble, and deflected a pass away. Dude should be the defensive player of the week, I think. Booth and Humphrey also had five tackles. And let's see here. Uh, Ronnie Edwards, sophomore, and Ulysses Sutton, senior. I said at the first of the year, I didn't think that Ulysses would get a lot of playing time because of who he was playing behind. But he got in there today, he got three tackles for a loss, and he got a sack. The Bobcats win. South Alabama is unhappy with their poor showing against Texas State. Well, I guess so. Last week's win over South Alabama brought praise from all the San Marcos sports writers. Well, I'm glad they're on our team. Finally. All right, with all that being said, that brings us to the end of this week and this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will go ahead next week. I think we got a couple of tough games coming up down the stretch. So that game was on regional television. We got... New Mexico State at home, that is a 3.30 kickoff. They are 3-4. and four. Georgia State at Georgia State and at Troy coming up. At UL, oh my God, we have one more home game and then four away games in a row. Granted, these away games are against bad teams. And then we finish the year up at home with Arkansas State. We've got a good chance to run a good uh, run the table. I'm not going to say anything, though, because sometimes we play down to competition. We didn't today, though. We, we struggled a little bit, but I think we did what we needed to to win. And to sound super repetitive, I'll just say I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'm going to tell you all to make good decisions. Stay out of trouble. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless. And I will see you all next week. We're 4-2, baby. Go Bobcats.